Carp Vault Learning Series point of view. Next topic is App Role Pull Authentication method. So I am in a Hashi Carp Vault Associate Certification homepage. So if you scroll down here, uh, we are learning this authentication method. So under that, differentiate human versus authentication method we have seen in the previous session. So choose an, an authentication method based on the use case. So this is the what the uh, area we are going to focus. So what we have seen in the vault architecture point of view, vault arc or has a, a core engine, it has a storage as a detachable layer where it has internal storage or external storage it has a secret engine you can store a variety of secrets and vault point of view the most important is authentication and policies which is to get into the connecting to this system which is by using all these methods and also vault provides a audit capabilities where you can audit the secret access uh, retrieval etc this is a typically a core one single vault system in the previous session we have seen the all various authentication methods which is this one right so, so you can use any generic like a username password etc and whereas a cloud based credential you can use or else any other infrastructure credential you can use and log into the system but but today's topic is a app role what exactly this app role? App role has a specific significance of this particular authentication method. That's what the we are going to learn. World authentication point of view. First step is we have to enable, right? Enabling a world authentication mechanism in the back end, which is username, password. I want to enable. I want to enable GitHub. I want to enable AWS. I want to enable any other credential. Then you will be writing so writing the whatever the passwords or whatever you are going to use as a authentication then you will be using with that login and entering into the world system and other one is a disable if you don't like it right these are the basic world authentication steps we have learned in the previous session now world authentication flow how the authentication flow will happen so let's say any of the client wanted to authenticate it will basically connect to the world system we are using any authentication mechanism it has a internally policies if you define based on the policies it will go to the actual system and verify say if i use a github authentication and i entered a github token that github token will be verified at the github end and it will come up with the one token if the token is it will issue the token so that the whatever the client is authorized that's how the, the basic uh, typical authentication flow works now differentiate human versus system so as we seen other authentication methods but app role has a specific significance how here out of all these tokens who will use the tokens right say for example this is a my vault where I will use the my root token right this is a my root token I'll copy this here I'll paste my root token I'm able to log in right this is a root token I am the boss I am the admin for this particular so tokens will be used by admins and github by developers right typical LDAP for users or any service accounts in your organization if it is an app role for machines or systems or applications say i have a jenkins jenkins want to connect to the mysql database and retrieve some password so in that case jenkins will use this app role right hope you got it kubernetes kubernetes everything you will deploy services pods so those are called apps apps will use the secrets right uh, and aws azure gcp also apps yes apps means any of the services right JWT Java web token which will be used by application or rest API's right multi-factor authentication this is 100% by the uh, users because somebody has to authorize manually multi-factor right that's what the so these are the typically system so today's topic is uh, app role why because app role is provides a uh, uh, such kind of a uh, mechanism to authenticate machines or apps 
to vault system i hope this is clear now vault authentication methods point of view so this is a app rule we have seen right app rule authentication methods there are many of the uh, app rule authentication methods as per the documentation one is open id connect method identity provider or azure id with oidc or oidc with the okta oidc is open id connect with okta is another identity provider vault as oidc id provider app rule pull authentication and app rule with the terraform and chef vault agent with the aws vault agent installed on a kubernetes and entities and groups and build your own plugins so means these are the various use cases right in a way azure active directory with open id connect and external groups connecting to the vault open id connect with okta identity provider just these are the very few but there are hundreds of but out of that very simple use case is a app role pull authentication that's what the we are going to see and moreover if you wanted to see this uh, how it fits into this particular examination syllabus you go to the haji cup certification home page prepare for the exam click it here right scroll down here vault after vault fundamentals in the authentication mechanism there is a get familiar with vault configure and authentication method this is previous le lecture we have seen in this lecture app role pull authentication if you just click it here it will take you to the app role pull authentication method right now app role pull authentication how it works let's say i have a vault server and there is an ad administrator he created db secret 1 and db secret 2 which is something like this like a gvr web ui i created a two secrets right some username some password right so these two secrets are created and there is a jenkins system and want only db secret one this system want only db secret one so he will create a policy in the vault system how if you go to the vault system there is a policy section if you go and see here there is a default policy is created this is capabilities are read update right something like that he will create a policy so that this guy can access only db secret 1 only not db secret 2 right for that first what he will do first he will enable the app role in the vault server level second is once enable the app role pull authentication if you go here right go to the access there is a app role and next enable right apple once it is enabled app role what it will the, this app role will do is this will create a role with this policy this policy mapping to the secret one that's one now app role also generates a, a secret id for this particular role right now app role part is done now what the jenkins system will do is jenkins system will log into the vault server with the role id and secret role id is referring to the policy policy is referring to the actual secret not this guy secret id is a secret some secret id now jenkins system will be able to read only db secret 1 only not db secret 2 is something like a r back functionality in the kubernetes right this is a app role pull authentication next this is an application jenkins by the way this image is taken from the vault official website you can go here and there is a image this is a image right so i'm just trying to explain this is a jenkins application and wanted to access the secret one only not secret number two for that administrator will enable the app role pull authentication method second he will create a policy yes because administrator will make sure if i have a hundreds of secrets he will make sure this secret will be accessible to the one guy this secret accessible to one guy this is for one guy right something like that right so he will create a role id here he will get the secret everything 
now what the admin will do is admin will simply share the role id and secret id to the jenkins application he he will just simply share the ids only with that ids this application will be able to authenticate to world system and pull the required secrets right that's how the it will work in a high level now how many ways april can be used one is by using a cli second is by using a api calls not by the ui ui is this so why because we will see in the demo why ui will not provide a 100% capability of achieving app role pull authentication next is a demo for this demo we'll be taking a same example where this is a jenkins system wanted to access only my sql secret which is attached with this policy set by administrator and whereas app role will create a role id and secret that secret id and role id by using that it will retrieve right now this is a take one vault server i have a vault server provisioned by using a vagrant which is running on the ubuntu 22.04 by i have created by using this particular uh, vagrant so you can go and try which is running on ubuntu 22.04 that's the first step and my vault server i have forwarded the port to the my local machine so it's running here vault status right and which is unsealed and the same vault system which is running here under 8200 right these are the secrets i have created in my previous uh, session next enable app role authentication method so if you look at the clear vault auth list if you look at here username password token github aws these are the authentication methods i have enabled using when in the my first lecture now as per the this particular demo i have to enable app role pull authentication so for enabling the command is vault auth enable app role as simple as that and vault auth list so that you will be able to see so i have enabled and i was able to list so it's showing me here and if you go to the ui and just refresh go to the sorry access under app role you will be able to see and when you click it here the vault ui only support the configuration of this authentication method for management use the api or cli should be used so by using this ui you won't be able to achieve the 100% uh, demo what i am showing right of course you will be able to achieve but the thing is cli is a more co convenient now the next is once enabled create a db secret yes so so how to enable the db secret vault secrets enable hyphen path equal to i will take secret slash my sql and key value so se secret slash my sql so vault secrets list if i say vault secrets list already my secret dot my sql this is a path of this path is the most important with respect to vault this is a key value pair i have created right so now i have to and write the username password so how to write that vault kv put right and where i wanted to put secret my sql under that web app right and whereas db name equal to say users right and username equal to username equal to let's say admin and password equal to say 1 2 3 4 5 whatever just right now i have created a one secret as well right so how to verify that vault kv get i used a put to insert the secret get and this path just paste it now i will get so you go to the ui and secrets i am able to see secret my sql under the web app path these are the secrets just it's 
just now i created right perfect it's showing as well now the next step once a secret is created we need to create a policy to access only db secret so this policy is there is a separate section but however this demo point of view i will create a policy and for the policy point of view you go to the april pull authentication right here there is a policy is given already you can create a policy by using this vault go to the policies there is a default policy is already created same likewise you can copy clone it and use or else you can create a new policy go here and give a some name but whereas there is a command is already given how to create a new uh, policy right so this is the command i'll just copy paste here right and modify so right this is the my policy but what i will do is my this path is wrong here but i have given a secret my sql web app right secret not the data right so this is the when i hit enter automatically policy name jenkins policy is created already go to the ui and access just cancel it sorry cancel okay right and go to come here policies right right so just let me relog in i think this policies will be reloaded when when you how to relog in right see the jenkins policy is created so what is this policy is talking is only this secrets my sql web app secret only accessible to the this is a policy that's what the we created in this step now create app role with the policy now the actual thing will begin so app role with the, this policy so how to create that clear so now vault write Right, so here, vault auth list. So already app role is created already. Right now, cool. So vault write auth slash app role slash role slash Jenkins. So this is the uh, the fixed path where app role every app role has a roles under this particular role path. After that, Jenkins is the I am giving the name. Right. and after that token underscore policies equal to what is the policy name we created jenkins this is the policy now and another command is the token ttl token ttl is basically whenever jenkins system try to access the this particular password right this particular password how much time one hour or half an hour what is the time time out so i am giving it as a one hour of time right and then next is token max underscore ttl max is four hours i will give the maximum and also i can add secret underscore id underscore number of uses equal to say 10 times only or 5 times only secret id only 5 times only i can use something like that i can create now it successfully retain the data to the app role but if you go to the ui you won't be able to see that's what i noticed right access app role under configure you won't be able to see but whereas if you wanted to whatever i written how do i read that simple command vault read April, right? Perfect. So this is the word the my Jenkins role I have created it April level. This April level I created a Jenkins, right? So this is the one. Now this role. So let's go to the step. Now I created, but where is the role ID here? Role ID will be same slash role hyphen ID. See. this is a role id is generated i hope you get it now the next is 
we need to copy the this particular role id and make a note of this now let's clear this next step generate app role secret id so this secret id is basically ultimately jenkins is going to if you look at the further steps login with the role id and secret id means role id we have already it's there this is a role id secret id is nothing but it's a only app roles secret app roles same thing like the role id is a username secret is a password so this is a password we need to create a password in the app role level how to do that vault right i fun force auth slash app role slash role slash jenkins dot role id so this is the path so jenkins slash after the jenkins secret slash id secret id so when i do that oops sorry my bad so typo so what it does is it's created a one secret id now i will try to read the same secret so i'll copy this clear so vault read the secret id right so so vault write i will try to write as many number of times you can add that but we need to uh, make sure it's a force and as well as when you create here there is a new secret id is created so here we are ready with the role id and secret id right now next step is to login how to login that there is a command already there so for the command go to the documentation and scroll down 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 right so uh, yeah so here is a login command a yeah, login with the role id and secret id this is a command here right so just copy this command and go here just paste it here right so we have a secret id i will try to replace the secret id and role id so this is a secret id i'll paste it here and the role id role id i need to scroll up yeah this is a role id i'll copy this scroll here and i'll paste it here so now i enter as soon as i enter means i am in this particular step login when i login with means like a jenkins is try to login with this vault server will give you a one token this token is expires for certain number of time how much time it will this token will expire one hour why because we have created app role token app role secret for one hour only right that's what the in this particular step previous step we have did so after one hour jenkins won't this can be minutes also based on your use case and what is the policies is attached default comma jenkins that's what they are attached so how to test that in order to test with this token right now copy this command vault login and token space and when you paste this particular token you will be able to log into the vault server with this token not as a root user but when you log in and see a clear vault right secrets list it won't be able to list anything why because it has a permissions to the only specific secret how to do that vault q 
की वैल्यू गैट वाट इज द सीक्रेट ईडी सीक्रेट मई सीक्वल वे ऐप दिस इज द वाट द सीक्रेट ना ऐ एम एबल टू रीड से लेट्स ट्रई टू रीड द अदर सीक्रेट विच इज लोकेटेड हियर सीक्रेट्स जी वी आर् वेब यू आई लेट्स ट्रई टू रीड जी वी आर् वेब यू आई एरर इज फोर जीरो थ्री वै बिका द वाट एवर द टोकन ई लॉगड इन विच हेज ओनली पर्मीशन टू द जेनकि पॉलिस ओनली बट जेनकि पॉलिस वाट इट्स सेयिंग गो टू द पॉलिस जेनकि पॉलिस इट्स पॉलिस इज ओनली टाकिंग अबउट द सीक्रेट स्लैश मई सीक्वल डाट वेब एप्लीकेशन ओनली रीड कैपबिलिटी देर इज नो लिस्ट कैपबिलिटी एज वेल हियर यू सी वाट आथ लिस्ट नो वाट सीक्रेट लिस्ट नो बिकॉज देर इज नो लिस्ट पर्मीशन दट फाउ द ऐप रोल पुल अथेंटिकेशन सो रीड द रिक्वयर्ड सीक्रेट से इफ ई लॉग इन बैक वाट लॉग इन टोकन इक्वल टू एंड रूट यूजर सो ई वॉन्ट टू हेव अ रूट टोकन दिस इज अ मई रूट टोकन दैट ऐम लॉग इन बैक वित् मई रूट टोकन सो देर इज अनदर वे वेर यू कैन इंपर्सनेट हाउ टू इंपर्सनेट ईज वाट अंडर स्कोर टोकन इक्वल टू यू हाव टू पास द इंटर्मीडियट टोकन विच इज द वन दिस टोकन right and paste it space vault key value get what is a secret path this one right also it will give you and if you instead of that means with this token i will be able to access gvr right so there is a secret i created it gvr web ui right gvr slash web ui no it's permission denied whereas if i just vault kv get gvr web ui i will be able to with this token so that's how app role pull authentication will works for the humans or basically for the systems so and for the more details all the commands need not to remember so all the commands are here right and how to go there just go go to the certification home page prepare for the exam click here and it will come here and you just scroll down scroll down and there is app roll pull authentication tutorial just click it here and whatever i explained which is here and you can go and try self explore and that's it for this particular session point of view i hope this session is helpful and if you like if you feel anything just feel free to comment and let me know your feedback thank you bye bye